morning, people. How you doing? Girls over there answering comments, you can see. It's her duty, her passion, along with rocks. We just got a load. We're leaving Atlanta. But damn it, we ain't going very far. What did I say? It was a PF4000 or a PF400. I don't know. We've never hauled one, I don't think. No, it's. It, it looks really long. I think it's a 747, 777 engine. Is it a tail or a wing? It's an engine. Okay, but some of them have engines oh. in the tail, but wing engines tend to be fatter, not that long. I'll have to get back with you on that. You'll see it. You know what I'm talking about, though? I do. The wing ones are fat. They're fat. The tail ones could be longer and skinny. skinny. That's right. It's probably a tail gun. I don't know. I don't either. We ain't hauled one. We'll figure it out, though, I bet. But we're getting ready to head over there after we eat our breakfast. Priorities. That's right. It's, uh, apparently it's going to be... Here's Lala if anybody needs to see him. He's alive. It's going to be bacon and eggs. I know, John Taylor. I know. But that's what it's going to be. But tonight, it's going to be lamb. Do I take lamb? <laughs> Did you get some out and thought out? I got it out. Okay. We're only going to Louisville, so it looks like 400 miles. 400, yeah. Yeah. It's, lot. it's a hop. We'll be there in no time. Lickety split. Lickety split is bad word. People can make it into one, but I could, some, well, not me, of course. Some people can make anything into a bad word, so, you know. Well, I don't mean it. It means bad word. quick. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm right. down. Come here. So let's go. everybody are we gonna whine about our week our reek oh my gosh we delivered friday night and now it's monday they've been getting our engine tested and everything before it could go out but it seems like we've just been setting forever i don't know why but we haven't it just feels that way i mean we didn't even start sitting until basically saturday morning in a way right yeah we delivered it one o'clock in the morning or something and up until this morning i was like just fine and then i'm like all right, it's Monday. Let's go to work. Now, now it's Monday answer. afternoon, and we're just now getting ready to load. I'm going to try to record that. But, I mean, it's no big deal, right? I don't know why I'm so antsy today for her. Maybe I know why. Do you know why? Mm -hmm. Hey, you look real cute. Thank you. Sometimes you're just Oh, I see a forklift behind me. Yes, he's taking that other engine out of my way so I can get out there and get my tarps and chains and binders and everything all ready to go. Yeah. And we're only going to Louisville, Kentucky. It's a little shorty. It's like 400 miles. It ain't nothing. I mean, it still pays great, so I can't complain. I can never complain about the money on the on these short loads, long loads, intermarried, near load, whatever loads. I, I'm happy with all of them. No, it just... It just feels like, oh, look. I just want to go somewhere. I want to go California or somewhere. I'm ready to roll. We were in San Bernardino not too long ago for two days. I know, but that, that was I then. This is now. I want to burn my clock out. That's what I want to do. Burn it out. I don't know that that's going to happen. I bet it, it has will. before, a couple times. I bet it will. Uh, this week? I got a feeling it will. This week? Yeah. You're going to make bets on it? Can I get like now, a handicap? Now, Can I now, have a handicap? Wait a minute. Burning your clock out doesn't mean you drive for 11 hours a day while I don't drive at all. I can burn my clock out. So it can't be like I have 68 hours and you have two. That don't count. We yeah. have to be comparable. That's just not right, Because that's what he does. Why you got to be so sharp? He <laughs> drives and doesn't let me drive because he's a boy and he's like... <laughs> yeah, tell him. I let you drive, but when it's slow, I drive. But when it's not slow, we drive. I just drive more. That's, that's just my nature. She don't want to work as hard as I do. I like working hard. You're that's, right, I don't. That's I my paint thing. rocks. Do you realize what hard work that is? All right, that, that's the GoPro. It's just here. going to bed. 
That was just a GoPro going to bed because I was working Look, at what a GoPro. this little boy's going to bed too. Oh, he's Same. always ready for bed. He's been being awful sweet and lovey to me. Why shouldn't he be? Because normally he bites me. Look, it was just St. Patty's Day. He he he, he thinks he's he get out on a drunken bender. He's got a little patty in him. All hey, right. we're all Irish on St. Patty's Day till May the 5th, and we're all Hispanic. That's right. It, you know, I, I probably... I'm going to mention this. I probably shouldn't mention it. I was in somebody's uh, live feed last night, and someone said something that could be construed as a racist comment. I know the guy wasn't in any way meaning it racist, but it did sound racist. And all the people of that ethnicity—they were it was Mexican actually—got all up in their in their arms, right? If people don't mean something racist, is it racist? I always wonder about that. Or if you even speak on an issue, is that a racist issue? Isn't the what's behind it mean something? I don't know. Well, certain areas... Of, okay. Instead of race, I'll use people with disabilities. Okay. okay. Right? Right. So, I've worked with people with disabilities, and they just like... Just like uh, nationalities and colors are changing their words all the time, too. Yeah. Handicapped parking signs you see everywhere, right? Mm -hmm. Handicapped is considered an offensive word to people with disabilities. But who made that an offensive word? Someone. I know, I know who. I know who. Someone that decided that it was it was offensive to them. Yes. So they just spread. They are it. supposed to now instead of it being handicapped parking. They're supposed to call it accessible parking because it's accessible to everyone. But it's the same thing. If you're from a certain area or a certain generation or whatever, the words that you use may not have been offensive where you're from, right? Right. I mean, if you look at a handicapped parking sign, people say handicapped parking, handicapped bathrooms, whatever. Because that's what half of them are still even labeled as, right? Yeah. But in the disability world, if you say handicapped, you're going to get smacked. It's disabled and accessible. I think people just worry too much about stuff. And if you're worrying about it, kind of I think that you're the only one worried about it. I mean, you can call me, you can call me anything, I don't care. I just don't. I do call him all sorts of stuff. It don't bother me. <laughs> it don't even bother me if it's not true. I'm just be like, "All right, yeah, that's, that's that's it." You got something for dinner? I don't care. Anyway, let's get out here and load this thing up and see what What's going to come of it? They're still dragging that engine away. I think that is a new guy. He's moving awful slow. Yeah, yeah. We'd rather him move slow than bang it around, though. Yes, we would. Let's go get it done. Stop over here at Mount Eagle to check my load. Because that's what the law says. It says, it don't say stop at Mount Eagle and check your load. But it says check your load, right? Oh, look, it's still here. That's a big old engine, ain't it? It is. Oh, I still got tires, too. We're doing really, really well. That's good. I got one tire that's looking a little bit lame. I'm going to try to get me another few more weeks out of it just because I'm thrifty that way, right? It's turning. Now, you can see it from here. Look, it's a big one. It actually is a 747. It also works in a 777. But whatever. Y'all are probably getting tired of seeing these jet engines, but hey, that's what I haul, you know? What can I say? 
It is what it is. I got 250 miles to go and I can't deliver before nine o'clock in the morning. That's very odd in this industry. Usually they want to see me go. And they don't mind if I stay for a while. But not this time. There we go. It is right out today, guys. I'm uh, like 50 miles from where I'm going. There, now you can see me instead of just a white blur there. We are parked near a pilot, surprisingly. But, Daddy's in bed. The kids have all been taken out to do their doggy business. And I am on my way to Louisville. I'm going to deliver this big fat engine to UPS. And then, see what adventures we go on from there. I have my heated jacket ready to go. Because it was 32 degrees last night. We've been spoiled. We've been down in Texas and Atlanta and stuff where it's been actually pretty nice. And apparently winter's not over. Now, it's not snowing. I don't want to jinx myself. But winter's not over here. It's 32. Maybe it'll heat up to like 50. Probably not by the time I get over there and have to untarp and stand outside and watch them people mess with this thing. Though. But I'll see you in a minute. Well, we made it to Louisville. We got our load off. The girl handled it. Now she's driving on up to Peebles. We got a load. Of... Where are we going? Seattle. We're going to Seattle. Come here, little dog. No, get away. I'm glad. I feel. I need. I told you I was wanting to burn my clock out. Now I'll be able to do it. Yeah. We got to look. Check the weather out there, though. Make sure that. I'm sure the roads are open. I better check. Talk to you guys later.